This is a short video to show you how to get to the quest giver for Slavers of the Shrieking Mines and how to get to the quest itself. This quest requires that you've flagged and completed the Hiding in Plain Sight quest before you can, can do this. So from the Marketplace Auctioneer, which is you know uh, near this bridge and near the guild ship entrance in the Marketplace, uh, just go to this, this guy here, Sarechi Spire Keeper. Uh, and have them take you to the Restless Hill Transport. Once you're here, um, I've already talked to this guy, but you can talk to this guy to get the Sigil uh, quest. And basically, you know, I, I I don't think I could meet any of the, any of the checks, so I ended up paying him money, 10,000 gold or whatever it was. Uh, and that's fine. There's no, nothing wrong with that option. And then this is the way to get into the wilderness. So we're going to need to go in the wilderness. I really recommend that you have the DDO Wiki map up of Restless Isles. It has the letters of locations. Uh, I'm going to reference those as we get to different locations. It's It also gives you a visual so you can see where we are a lot easier. All right, so we are currently on the map in location A. So uh, A through H is basically the path to the other quest, and then A, um, it you know it, it go it basically it's not as uh, linear to get to the slavers of the shrieking mines, but uh, I will explain each of the letters as we get there. You want to get your ooze weapon ready here because there's always usually oozes at the beginning. And the wild man guide. Once we've actually uh, talked to the um, Oku the Elder, um, I believe it's after we talk to him, we'll be able to use that transport to get to the quest instead of having to uh, instead of having to go the long way. Uh, so I'll show you that as well when we get to the questing. Usually there's a more oozes, I think. Yeah, lots of lots of puddings and slimes and things here in this part but it's it's all no, considered normal difficulty so it's pretty easy and lots of spiders we're gonna have to use a lot of poison uh one thing yeah one thing is i think blindness is a little, oh, a little more common here um i think i was at 25 and now i'm at 17 maybe i was less than that but i'm gonna stock up and go to before i actually run the quest i'm gonna go to about 40. All right, so this is the, the 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 way to the other quest, and this is the guide that would take you directly there once you talk to that quest giver. But this this guy we can just unlock with our unlock, and if it doesn't work, we have our you know unlock goggles. So that fails. So let me put this on. Uh, you, if you don't have a pair of unlock goggles or gloves, you should try to get them. So that failed. Let's see if we can skill boost. Success in a 19. So we've barely can do this but you know we'll just kind of be persistent i think it's easier than looking worried about the keys you may find some keys on the way too but uh we'll try to pick the locks if we can so what you could have done is actually if you can't pick that lock you'd go left there by the rune test guide and on that first island get a key one of the rune ogres drops a key come right back down and open the gate so that would be your backup option there, was to be go on to Island B and then come back and go this direction with the key. All right, so we are on the path towards M. So we're basically going from A to M. Might as well get this mushroom over here. That is a rare, uh, a rare one. All right, this is location taking us to Island M on the map. And we'll try not to bother any of those people. Let's see if there's a, where the lever is. It's not in a good place, but I think there's another lever over here somewhere. Um, hmm. It's been a while. I forget exactly how to open this but I think the ogres will come and open it for us if if we try to shoot them and check and you don't want to fall down here uh, by the way 
You definitely don't want to fall down. Let's see what happens if I shoot them with an arrow. I think I might be overthinking this. Um, let me. I might be overthinking this. I think all I have to do is maybe click on this. Nope. All right. Well, let's go back. I believe there's other ways to do this besides. Let's just start beating up on the ogre. You may have to clear all the ogres on this island. Yep, that's what does it. So we just clear the ogres and that opens it up. I had forgotten about that. And be very careful here if you fall off. It doesn't matter if you have your feather fall or not. You're not going to end up uh, swimming and having to climb a ladder back up. You're going to end up dead and having to recall. So I, I usually keep my right mouse button held down and that circle sort of keeps me on the straight straight path to make sure I don't go off. And then there's a lever here. And now we're, if we're on our map, we're on island N. All right, and so we want to go through this little portal here. We'll avoid fighting if we can. All right, so now we're going on N and we're in the underground path between N and O. And um, this, you might be thinking right about now, this, this seems like a lot of work for two quests. And it is. Um, if you want to get the falconry tree, I mean, I'd take a look at it on DDO Wiki and see if it's something you're interested in. If you have no interest in it at all, it's probably not critical you get this quest. I think you'll get to 5,000 favor without it. Okay, now we're going on to Island O. We just took the path from N to O. And now we're going on to Island O. Uh, and I see a chest. There's a rare here. Can I think it's a hyena or something, maybe? Let's see. go up on top here and I don't know if there isn't on top here or not but just make sure you don't fall off it's not that important to get these guys I don't think there's a way on top all right so that opens up the bridge let's go back and get that chest I thought that there might be a rare here but that we had to kill first but uh, it says we got everything so if it was it was something that, that we killed immediately that was really easy Locked. And lead. Failed on a two. Let's try again. Fail on a five. I want to at least see what a 12 or 13 looks like. Fail on a four. So we know we're failing on low numbers below five. Fail on a 10. I'm going to go ahead and use my versatility boost. Fail on an eight with the boost. So that would mean a 12. 10. So that would be like a 14 without the boost. Five. All right, so we are definitely having trouble with open locks in this area. And it's the first place we've had problems. And also not a big deal. So I'm just going to let leave this chest. I don't think there's no named items or anything in it. Uh, but good to note, we'll try to, we have currently an open lock 11. That's pretty good. But if we find a open lock with a open lock uh, insightful bonus, that might might help get us over the edge. But at the end of the day, it's not critical because anytime when uh, you know all the unlocking things are just extra chests, optional doors, so 
that's why ranked open lock is kind of less of a priority because um, it seems to work a lot and in places where it doesn't all we're missing is optionals that we probably skip anyways all right so we are now on island p uh, apparently there's an ogre that will drop a key for us here we'll grab it since we're having a problem with our open locks so there's a rune tusk pass key and uh, it seems like, you know, they, they probably made the DCs kind of high here because they provide it, make a key pretty easy and they don't, you know, they're trying to make people get that key. All right, so we'll... Uh... So at least we know we can get past the next barrier if we need to. And generally, wherever there's a, um, a key needed, uh, there's a key nearby. 